is television's most popular judge. Take a look. Take it, rip it in two, rip it in seven parts. You consented to an order of protection. But this was after the restraining order. This right here is emails from her, and that's the reason the judge <laughs> throwed it out. I want to see nothing. You keep talking about restraining order. I'm talking about false arrest. She had went. Her, I would have had you arrested ten times. If I were married to you, you would have been arrested ten times. You're not paying attention, Mr. Graham. I love her. Please welcome the audience. Thank you. You look fabulous. You, you look, got skinny you, you, and gorgeous. Oh, thank you. And well, I see you, you on the cover of all the magazines. No. Cover, back page, front page. Yeah, that's all me. All over the place. That's you. Good girl. Uh, so my mother, of course, is here because you're here. My mother adores you, and uh, she just she just loves you, and uh, I love you too. But she she's over here. She's hiding behind. Hi, Betty. She went, she's such a fan. She went to a taping, and then y'all went to lunch together. And we had such a good time together. And she gave me a copy of her book, which I treasure and read and have newfound respect. I didn't not respect you before, but after reading that book, I said to myself, this is one great gal. It's a good book. Yeah, it's a good book. She's a great gal. So, so the show is how many seasons? 13? 13. Wow. 13. 13 seasons. We're going to start filming our 14th season in April. And there's no, you, you, you know, because you can just stop whenever you want. You know that. But you don't want to. You, you they want. don't tell me that you can stop oh. whenever you want. Yeah. As a matter of fact, they have two people with whips uh -huh. that live with me full time yeah. that say you keep going there, girl. I bet. Because, yeah. you know, I mean, it's so successful. You're like, you know, the yeah, number one syndicated show. it's fun. And that's not work. I mean, you come here, you know, and spend a few hours here. Right. Have a good time. Dance yeah. around. You right. know, have people eat ice cream. You mm -hmm. know, dance, <laughs> dance in the bathroom. Sing in the bathroom. I know. And get paid nicely for it. Yeah. And and they call it work. Yeah, I know. It's it's a good it's a good living. I mean, I, I love what I do, and you love what mm, you I do. actually because you were a judge, and then now you get to do. You couldn't talk to people that way before, could you? <laughs> I had more trouble back then uh -huh. in the family court, but I have to tell you, the problems were also insurmountable there. Mm -hmm. These problems are little problems. They're yeah. petty problems that people make into a big mitzia. Yeah. In the family court, they were big problems. They mm -hmm. had problems of peeping, ha people having children who shouldn't have children. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about All that. Right. Because I knew you'd that have an opinion. That was a good segue yeah. into that. I, I knew you'd have an opinion about her. The, the mom that is, uh, she has all the babies and... Um... I have a big opinion about her. Let's hear it. Well, first I think that people who put her on television and make her into a celebrity are doing the rest of the world a big disservice. <laughs> Number one. You know, when a celebrity teenager has a baby, a 16-year-old has a baby, all of a sudden teenagers throughout the country say, well, if that's okay for so-and-so, mm -hmm. why is it not okay for me? Right. And then you have girls in a high school having babies, making a pact who can have a baby first. Mm -hmm. So you have 15 of them having babies because mm -hmm. they say, if it's okay for a celebrity, why not for me? Mm -hmm. So making this lady a celebrity who has accomplished the most irresponsible thing, I think, of the decade, mm -hmm. who already has six children, three of whom are children who receive disability payments, from the government so that they are challenged children. Right. You have six children as a single parent and three of them have a disability. It's enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're irresponsible to your children. You're mm -hmm. irresponsible to your parents who have to help you take care of them. Right. You're irresponsible to the community who is one way or another going to be supporting this, these children. Sure. And, but most of all, you're irresponsible for the now 14 children. We know that if you have a big family, you can have a big family, and you can have five kids, you can have four kids, mm -hmm. and you say, oh, my God, I had two at one time, then I had five all together, mm -hmm. and it was a lot of work. It's a lot of work, you know, educating them, feeding them, closing them, getting them to doctor's appointments, and that's with really four parents dealing with all these children. Right. This is one woman 
who had the bad judgment to do what she did, being asked to raise 14 children. Mm -hmm. And she says, I can do it alone. I don't really need help. It's just irresponsible. Well, what do you think, what can happen now? I mean, she's, they're here, and so what do you think should happen? I think they have to be watched very closely because I don't think that anybody, any one person can take care of 14 babies. Mm -hmm. And she really has 14 babies. The other ones are also babies. Mm -hmm. And I think that she probably has a very delicate psyche, and somebody with a very delicate psyche should not be in a position to be able to take care of alone 14 children. So mm -hmm. somebody's got to watch them very closely. Mm -hmm. That's from my experience in the family yeah. court. Yeah, it's, it is. It's, uh... <laughs> it's sad and maddening, but it's sad, really. Some people, when you think about it, some people try so desperately to have one baby. Mm -hmm. You know, I, mean, I know you must have friends, and I have a host of... Sir, do you know the show? I've never seen it. I heard you mm -hmm. backstage, mm -hmm. and I heard you tell me that somebody got dumped mm -hmm. very publicly. Yes. If you select your mate on television, you, can, you should be able to expect anything. I think it's a ridiculous... I think anybody that goes on television to select a mate right. should spend the now with Dr. Phil. Right. <laughs> that, you know, his treatment was, but you're right. I mean, that's, they're on television trying to find love, but then you think, well, maybe they will find love. Yeah. Trista found love. Yeah. Who? <laughs> Who was that? The first bachelorette found love with Ryan, and they have a baby, and they're happy. And Bravo. why I know that, I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I enjoy, all, I'm fa you know why I watch reality television? I'm fascinated by the fact that people are doing that. I'm fascinated by their be behavior in front of cameras and that they, they share all that. I'm, I'm just fascinated by all of it. Uh, growing up, Gotti, I don't, mm -hmm. I didn't get it, mm -hmm. you know, and I know the premise. You know, Any I, I don't want to be in somebody else's bathroom. I don't even want to be in my own bathroom. Right. <laughs> Being in somebody else's kitchen is something that just doesn't do it So you don't, you've never watched any reality shows? No. What I do you was, watch? What's your favorite show on television? I, I'm a law and order junkie. Yeah, I love law and order. I watch Law and Order on NBC. Mm -hmm. I watch Law and Order on TNT. Mm -hmm. I watch Law and Order on Bravo and USA Today. Yeah. And we watch it, interestingly enough, on cable later at night at 9 o'clock mm -hmm. because we go to bed early. Mm -hmm. And since we've already seen them three or four times, by the time we fall asleep, it's 20 to 10, we haven't missed anything because we've You've already, already seen, seen it. it. Yeah, that's when you TiVo Law and Order, you get all of them. For your, your whole TiVo is filled up with Law and Order. Um, all right, we have some audience questions, so I want to make sure we get that uh, from uh, the audience. We have Casey Payne from Atlanta, Georgia, and her question: Where's Casey? Right here. Hi, Casey. <laughs> Ask her hey. to your question. Um, yes, I want to know: Have you ever broken the law? <laughs> <laughs> Not that I can think of offhand, and if I had, do you think I would tell you yeah. here? <laughs> good, good answer. We have this whole, you know, we have Laugh Dance Love, we had Laugh Dance Vote, that's our slogan, we have Laugh Dance, you know, things, and we wanted to give you something special to wear when you are presiding over your, um, so, oh, Laugh Dance, dance Judge, lovely. keep watching, you keep watching you for wear me, it? Why, you watch every day until you see this. All right. <laughs> every day. You're going to see. You're trying to get me to watch and you're never going to wear it. <laughs> Please wear it. Thank you. Of course I'll wear it. On, on the show. Oh, of course. You just keep watching. <laughs> We're on until 2013. Judge Judy airs weekdays. Check your local listings. Brett Michaels is going to be here after this. Don't go away. <laughs>